and Solution 9 quest is done. And then the next one is... The Queen's Tour! Let us begin then, shall we? I must say, I'm really grateful. The play is so vast and confusing. I didn't even know where to begin. While the district may seem very daunting in size and structure, all the key facilities are situated near Leynut, or other words, what would you call Aetherites. Remember this and you won't lose your way. Yeah, the huge Aetherite in the plaza. I still want to call that thing the Monolith from the Dead Space series. Now then, seeing as you're right here, I'll show you to the Nexus Arcade first. Wait a minute, Arcade? Do we have like mini games we can actually play there? Oh shit, I want to try some of those. Please follow me. Alright, Queen Saban, just lead the way and we will follow you. And I'm kinda curious, so what's our first stop on our grand tour? Oh, we're going inside here? So I'm guessing you'll be explaining all the stalls inside this building. Like seriously though, it kinda looks like a shopping mall at first glance. This complex holds all manner of shops, from food and daily necessities to technology convenience. You can find almost everything here. Every key interior is vast, as you observe. This arcade makes it possible for people to acquire what they need in one centralized location. Amazing! How do you get to the upper levels? I don't even see any stairs. Do you see the glowing pattern over yonder? That's the automatic conveyor. Oh, mean kind of like an escalator? Such contraptions are found throughout every keep, allowing us to swiftly move between faraway places. That will spare some time walking! Are they also made from that strange metal electro what's it? <laughs> yes, the conveyors are also powered by electro. As a matter of fact, the ore is integrating just about everything in every keep, even the floors and walls. By electing arcane circuits upon it, electro can be found by converting lightning energy to those other elements. In doing so, we can achieve various effects. For instance, a conversion of wind produced potations, which requires for a propulsion for our flying vehicles. Ooh, flying vehicles you say? So I'm guessing at some point we'll see flying carriages. Well, technically we have the flying carriage from the Chocobo, but still, a flying car would be nice. Kinda like, you know, the Regalium that we get for that 15 collab. A conversion to fire, meanwhile, produced light and heat. And it employed in devices such as street lamps and heaters. There are even a self-heating cup that keeps your drink warm. Oh, okay, so they managed to build a self-heating cup. Okay, cool. So, what's next? A self-serving AI to keep track on your mundane tasks, kind of like Alexa? Which, I say that, and there was a commercial where instead of using Alexa, they use a Omega variant of her to do all those mundane tasks. I was wondering, can you make a cold drink if you convert it to ice instead? You certainly can! Our vending machines do just that. With more multiple energies, you can also combine and to produce some clever effects. For instance, by manipulating the air and wind while projecting light and lightning, it is also possible to alter one's appearance. Oh, that's neat. So they managed to find a way to change one's appearance. Kind of like a Fantasia, where you buy this from the monk station to change your character's appearance. And I just kind of realized, instead of being addicted to Fantasias, you're going to be addicted to changing your appearance every day of the week. It is almost scary what you can do with Electro. 
It's just a wondrous material exists in our world. I imagine everyone will be fighting over it. Yeah, I can seriously imagine that because for all those investments that they made in their country, I am certain the other nations wanted to get their hands on that thing no matter what. Oh, don't you worry, Tori. It's nothing. Are you sure about that? This shop over here, what does it sell? And just like that, let me just change the topic entirely. Ah, yes. Let's go and take a look. Don't you worry, Atorius. I dare say you'll find it interesting. Sure thing, Sepen, as we grows over to the fact that the other nations want to invade your country for your technology. And I'm assuming this is the new central hub for all your tome and crafting needs for endgame and whatnot. Because, you know, since everybody's here crafting away. So, before we proceed to the quest marker, let's go over here and attune to this Aether Shard. Alright, so we got our tune with the Shard. Let's head back to where Queen Sepen is. But before we do that, let's make a small detail over here. So, what is this NPC? Dawn of the New Deal. Ah, uh, okay, so this is where you do to level up your crafters and whatnot. Okay, I will do that later. Alright, Pizza Band, sorry for the delay. I had to make a small detour. This shop sells food. Those are the items on the counter. That's... food? I can't imagine what they taste like. <laughs> I thought you might be surprised. Your countrymen were too in the beginning. Come on, you must sample something. Choose one and I will purchase it. Welcome, friends! How lucky are Her Majesty to treat you! The five items on display are our most popular. I recommend one that is your first time. Select an item that interests you. Um, uh, the, 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 the slab of pink hydrogen liquid filled poach, long rectangular bar. I don't know. I want to pick that. Hexagon pattern bag, black and yellow tin. Um, uh, what do I want to pick? I don't want to pick the first two one, but <sighs> fine. Let's go with the long rectangular bar. Keen on the perfect meal bar, are you? It's all the nutrients your body needs packed in a singular food stuff. The flavor are formulated with never taste dull, and one bar will satisfy you for a whole day. Many folks prefer this on to taking multiple meals. Oh, I gotcha. So basically this one right here is an energy bar. Um... Do I want to choose the energy bar? You know, fuck it. Well, they're all very tempting and all. I'm going to have the steak. I'm absolutely starving. Oh, okay. If you're going to get the steak, I'm going to get the energy bar then. Thank you for your custom. This being Her Majesty's treat, it's bound to taste all the better. Say, would you mind sampling our selections here and now? It's been a long time since we had newcomers, and I'd love to see your reactions. Um, sure, why not? We can eat your food right here so you can get a nice reaction out of it, and I'm pretty sure the other citizens want to see our reaction when we consume this food. It's a great chance to learn of the Axian culture. Artorius, let's dig in! Alright, sure, Lamity. As long as you enjoy your steak, I'm gonna enjoy my energy bar. All right, here I go. So, how do you like it? Following Wokalon's lead, you sample your selection. A amazing! I never had any meat like this before. It's tender like chicken, but the flavor like wunuk. 
and the spice is to give just the right amount of kick. I could eat this every day. And by the reaction of everyone else here, they really like her initial reactions of eating that steak. Ah, <laughs> don't mind them. They're just happy to see your honest reaction. And how about you, my good madam? How do you like your energy bar? Well, what can I say? Hmm... It's fantastic, it's pretty good, it's... interesting. Hmm... Honestly? It was fantastic! For an energy bar, it tastes really good! Haha! <laughs> it's always such a pleasure! Many thanks for hearing me. This does take me back. Though it was chaotic when the people of the trail first arrived, we were there to learn about one another and embrace our differences. Oh, that's nice. So they managed to coexist with one another after they first arrived here in Alexandra. Ah, oh, right. What about you, Sepen? Aren't you having something to eat too? Um, well... I appreciate the thought, but I'm fine now. Thank you. Are you sure though? Alright, but what's your favorite food? If you don't mind me asking. My favorite food? Um, about that. Why do you wish to know this? Because I want to get to know you better. Why else? The more I know of someone, the more you grow to fond of them. That's what my own man believes, and my experience had led me to believe the same. My favorite food? Huh. My favorite food. Hmm. Is it such a difficult question to answer? Oh, maybe she doesn't have a particular favorite food. I'm sorry, it's just when I think of those laborers who bring us the food, I find I can't settle on one thing. <laughs> I thought I was indecisive, but you're something else. Indecisive? Perhaps I am, but you didn't need to laugh about it. And of course, the rest of the citizens here agree that their queen is very indecisive. But wait a minute, that blue moja... Wait a minute, it cannot be. Can it? Hmm... Alright, let's talk to Mont. Well, I don't know about you, but I am satisfied. Let's keep moving. Very well. Next, I was thinking of showing to the residential sector. But it's in part so I can tend to my personal matters. It's a visitation, to be precise, and I believe it will be education for you as well. Would you two mind accompanying me? Well, sure, why not, Saben? Not at all. Wonderful. Let me know when you have seen enough of here, and we will make our way. Alright, so I think we saw everything we could see here in this area, even though I could easily try to buy those tome gear, but I need to beat the game first before I can actually do that. Anywho, let's talk to Sepen. Oh, wrong person. I didn't want to talk to Lamity, I want to talk to Sepen. Ready? Then let's head to the residential sector. It lies to the southwest. As we walk, I will be glad to tell you about any places of interest that we come upon. Sepen walk will now accompany you, keep them at your side in order to proceed with the quest objective. Okay. You can leave your quest companion behind by entering- Yeah, 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 I know about that. So if you enter another area, they get left behind. So we're going... Where exactly? Information... Where's the- Wait. Speak to Sepin. Okay. Where exactly I need to go? Oh, here. I just couldn't see it on the map. Okay. And here we are. Is this supposed to be like a cafe? Oh, interesting. Boo, you can't buy anything from this stall? Ah, uh, that's a little bit disappointing. They could easily add like another vendor to buy shit like gears, dyes, or whatever the case may be. And 
I really wait. Oh, it's a reskin of the crafter um, gear from AR, I think. I'm pretty sure that is the one, or unless it's like a different, you know, reskin of another armor in the game. And I'm back. So apparently, I had to make a phone call earlier, so I had to cut that part out. So from that, let us proceed by talking to good old Sepen here. This is a music, a cafe. Here you buy drinks to enjoy while you relax. I see. In Troll, there are similar establishments called Zibar Tree. That's a seashell in the local tongue. Is there any story behind the name Mosek? There is in our continent. The races are named for stones. There is Hyun, who resembles some Tongnoa, a tall and graceful elite, and the diminutive and inflatable Malivola. When they all gathered here, they appeared in a Mostic of colors. Thus did the founder chose the name the cafe. <laughs> that is nice. If the air is served tacos here, it'll be perfect. Yeah, that would be perfect. Like that one time where Lamity bought me a bunch of tacos, which unfortunately got squished by Boko Jaja. So yeah, I still have to forgive you about that one, Boko Jaja. Even though you're a good guy now. A taco? A traditional trio dish. And one of my favorite foods. You must try one one day. Oh, um, yes, definitely. We'll make it happen once we restore peace to Turial. Right, let's continue on. Alright, so next place is down here. And let's keep chuggling along as I listen to this very catchy tune here in Solution 9. Like seriously though, I can't wait to get this for my personal house and for the FC as well. And I'm kinda curious, I wonder where you can get this music. I really hope it's not tied to the body color gemstones by doing fades. If not, then I can always farm that later on once I beat the main MSQ. Alright. And how about this one? And here we are! These buildings are where our citizens live. Um, okay, so you're telling me the big complex right behind me is where all the citizens live? Like, Jesus, look at that place, it's very big. They're massive! Each one is bigger than the palace. Well, they have to be, for just about all Alexanders have apartments here. Unless you wonder, I'm here to visit some people. Their apartment is in the building on the left side. Here at the Residential Radius 914. Residential Radius? That's right, come. The door opens automatically. Alright, so they have self heating cups and automatic doors. Alright, cool, cool. Before we head to our destination, let's examine this lady over here. So, what are you drinking, ma'am? Is that a coffee mug? It kinda looks like one, or it could be something else entirely. Anywho, before I got distracted by that NPC and her coffee bug, I was just thinking, I wouldn't be surprised if they add a new housing district here in Solution 9 to make it a little more modern compared to the other city-states in the game itself. Ask about the lobby. This is the lobby, a common area for residents. I see! And what does that machine there do? Ah, the Corsair! They look after the residents. If you require assistance or have any questions, they will be glad to assist. Is that so? I have no shortage of questions, but I'll direct them out to you for now. By all means, you may consider me your personal concierge. Uh, is that the same? If I talk to LeBong, is it the same thing about the. Okay, it's different. Hey, Stepan, can anyone live in this place? Naturally, in fact, many of our countrymen make their homes here. No matter your origin or race, occupation, or regular usage of all Alexandrian citizens are eligible for apartment. This includes those who you met or worked in the outskirts. You've been taking care of everyone here for 30 years? I'm truly grateful. Alright, so with that, let's head down this corridor and go to the room that Sapan's supposed to be visiting. Wherever it is, it must be very important that she needs to pay a visit. 
Well, this is the place. A mother and son live here. Hello, Isadora. Your Majesty, you came! I have friends with me today, is that alright? Of course! Friends of the Queen are friends of ours. Please, make yourselves at home. Bill been. There have been no change, but the symptoms are thankfully mild today. Symptoms? Hello, Milos. Have you missed me? My son was born with leaven sickness, a severe atriatic imbalance towards lightning. As a result, he suffered from paralysis. Can I walk and struggle to speak? For a blessing, he still has his hearing. And even on bad days, he can still communicate with his eyes. Damn, I kinda feel bad for the poor boy now. I see. Sapen visit often, does she? She does. Milo simply adores her. He sometimes even managed to smile when she's here. Well, for yourself, Isadora, how are you holding up? You do not need to worry about me, your majesty. You always make time for us, and we always have everything we need. I understand. I'm glad to hear that, but you mustn't strain yourself, understood? Yes, your majesty. There is nothing you can do for him? Perhaps a treatment with soul or whatever that thing is? Unfortunately, no. While souls can revive those who met an accident, they cannot reverse the effects of old age and illness. Truth be told, many children were born like Milos. The illness has existed for generations, but we've been unable to find a cure. The cause is quite clear. Though the excess lighting in the environment, it's no coincidence the number of cases have risen dramatically these past 30 years. It's all my fault. Wait, what? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. You don't need to be concerned of. I'm sorry, Isadora, but I must be going. But I promise to make a proper visit next time with trees to share. There's no need to apologize, Your Majesty. If it weren't for you, Minus and I wouldn't still be here. Ah. <sighs> That is true. Alright then, I must be going. Thank you, Queen Sapen. Ah, uh, he still managed to say thank you to her even though under his current condition. It's my pleasure, Milos. I'll be back soon. So be a good boy for your mother and for me. Thank you guys for watching this recording session on Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Drill, main MSQ for 7.0 and onwards. If you have any comments, you can put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button, it is very much appreciated. And if you're curious about future content, you can check out my YouTube channel. And if you like the content that's been uploaded there, you can probably subscribe. If not, that is alright. But, if you're going to, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos in the near future. And as always, I have three projects which are continuing on my channel, which are Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSQ, Rockets, Droggers, Minions, Mount, or anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly, will be my two gachas, which are Fight Grand or NA, and 
Honkai Sorrow, and for both of them will be the Lost Dog missions, the Trail Base Continuance, the Companion Quest, and of course the future banners that will be coming for my two gotchas respectively. And lastly, to say the least, Persona 5. And with that, this has been Raven Sleep 45. Take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy 14 day.